some grocery shopping. And I just realized that I've never actually mentioned one of my favorite places to buy stuff. So let me turn the camera around. Okay, so I am in Grand Janet and I don't think I've ever really mentioned it, but maybe I'll take you for a little walk around. Okay, so Grand Janet is one of my favorite places to come. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to do a little bit by little bit because Grand Janet is gigantic. They have everything. There you can see some glasses. And because it is autumn, they have got duvets. They're ready for autumn. They've also got some really interesting things over here. Look at this. Massive, massive, big pots. They call it a soup barrel. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So it's 75 lev for 38 and a half liters. That's a big putt. Um, I don't have one of those. I'm not really sure if I'm going to get one of those. Um, and here they have a lot of these things. They just have everything. I really like it. And they have soft blankets too. <laughs> Officially, it's a grocery store, um, which you do recognize when you walk in the door. So there you can see some groceries. It's a beautiful clean layout. Uh, here's the center aisle. I hope that gives you some sort of idea of how big it is. It's a very, very, very big store. Uh, they even sell seeds. Uh, so here are the nuts. and lots of seasoning it's like a little seasoning island they're currently selling walnuts because it is walnut season of course but i've got two trees so i won't be buying any walnuts um but i will be buying is a walnut cracker or a nut cracker <laughs> it's already in my shopping trolley this aisle is the I can't read what it says up there, but it's the health aisle. It's all the healthy bits and bobs. So you'll get uh, healthy snacks and you'll also find seeds, like these little seeds here. And uh, this is quinoa down here, uh, quinoa, and there's chia down there. There's chia. Um, basically, any sort of seeds you're looking for. Here we go. You've got some hemp seeds, <laughs> amaranth. Um, yeah. As I said, just all sorts. Yeah. I really like this health aisle. Oh, the one thing that I love getting from the health aisle is 100% peanut butter. So this one here is just peanuts. There's no oil mixed into it at all. And there's a couple. There's a couple variations. Um, at least two of them only have peanuts in them. And then, look at that massive cheese section. All the different cheeses. And then we've got olives. So many different olives. It's just an incredible amount of choice. And then there's a lot of meat, but I'm not really interested in that. So, look, there's more cheese. Uh, the, so, the cheese is not cheap, by the way. They might have all of these options, but if you're looking for specific things um, that are imported, they don't come cheap. And actually, now I don't see the one that I was thinking of, but it might be in this other area. I'm sorry about my oily hair. It's just because I thought um, I shouldn't freshly wash my hair for it to be cut, and that was just my theory. So this is the cheese I was thinking about. It's Wensleydale with cranberry so this little sliver here is very small and that's six lev so it's not cheap but it is available um i don't know how much this peanut butter is let me see it's 450 so this is four lev which is two euros i love this store it's just um got all the options you know so You'll just find anything that you really, really, really want. And even though it might be a little bit more expensive, at least you have the option to get it or not. Here's my nutcracker. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we find. 
This is the pots and pan aisle. Cutleries, all of the cutlery things. It's just so, so, so many options. Oh, you know what I need to show you? Something that I actually really was surprised by. The beautifully painted plates. I find them stunning. Um, I don't know if you can really tell from the video. I think you can, but they just look beautiful. They have a certain style to them that is just really lovely. Look at this. It's like something you'll see in a very uh, nice restaurant. Got a couple of these types as well. These you see everywhere. That's a standard Bulgarian style color palette. And these are also traditional Bulgarian style paintings of pots. Some use them as decorations and others use them as pots. <laughs> And here's some other things. Here's some more fancy plates. This is kind of Japanese style, isn't it? And look at that back there. Wow. Yeah, so they do really special things. Um, prices. There's a couple of prices there. I'm guessing that this 19 lev is for the one at the back. It's just a guess. It's kind of hard to figure out which label goes with what because they're all kind of similar. Um, anyway. Yeah, really nice plates. I really like those. Um, it's not something I would actually buy, but I do like looking at them. And if I got that at a restaurant, that would be kind of cool. All right, that's it for plates. Okay, so this is my milk aisle. Um, this is where you can get all of the plant milks. Lots of options. Um, what I usually go for is either this one up here, um, which is $3.89. Um, I have also got that one recently, but I haven't tried it yet. And I also got this one the other day, which was also pretty good. It was on special for two lev. Um, it was quite good, actually. I was happy with that. The nice thing about that is it's got zero sugar in it, so that's pretty good. But they do have some other additives in there, um, which don't look so great. You know, like aromas and other preservatives, I suppose. I usually read the German label because they don't have English on here. So, soya beans, 7.5%, and then there's calcium and stabilizers etc so this is the uh, sardine and mussel section if you like mussels this is one of the places you can get them uh, three left for 14 to 18 pieces i think that's um, probably the best you're going to find in bulgaria from what i have experienced this one over here is 279 but i think there's fewer pieces in there and this is 249 but it comes with a weird green sauce. <laughs> I think um, this brand here, that one has the most pieces in them and this brand just has a fewer pieces but they are cheaper so I guess it works out that way. But I prefer more pieces if I go and buy these things. So here's some more fishies. I'm not exactly sure what type of fish that is. Sprats. Okay, now we know. It's sprats. And this one is herring. Lots of different types over here. And you get some caviar. Lovely. There's some more caviar over there. They've also got a massive um, fish section. Oh, I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll check that out later. But of course there's a fish uh, section here with all the very very fresh fish. Massive. Must be catfish with those whiskers. Okay and here are the hand soaps, toiletries, endless toothpastes. Wow it's really incredible. 
incredible choices for toothpaste. They even have um, kind of strange ones. Like this one looks like it's some sort of bark. Not sure what that is. It looks Italian. Some type of bark, not sure. Hmm. Oh, and this is charcoal. Very cool. Yeah, charcoal has got whitening properties, doesn't it? So there's some really interesting types of toothpaste that they have available here. Lots and lots of choices. Wow. And here we are in the tea section. Lots of choices on tea. Uh, most of them are herbal tea. They really do love their flowers and yeah, just I can't read this right now, but anyway, it's Oh, this is lavender. I can recognize that. Ah, lavendula. Perfect. <laughs> um, Melissa, okay. Anyway, there we go. These are all the tea options. And there's more tea options. <laughs> I guess as you can tell, I like tea a lot. This is a pretty good space for me. And then we move into coffee etc yeah so 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 many options love the variety okay and this is the talk chocolate section another favorite space for me so many chocolates Lots of international brands, but they do also have local brands. So this is the next one. They've got Turkish delights and cookies. Ooh, some baklava. No, this is not baklava. This is a different type of uh, Turkish sweet. Um, what is this called? Tahini halva. Oh, that's right. This is halva. So it's a little bit dry if you haven't had this before. Um, but it's, yeah, I guess it's not everybody's sort of thing. I, I think it's okay. It's not my favorite though. Something very popular in Bulgaria are these wafers. People seem to absolutely love wafers. So <laughs> there's a lot of variety on wafers. I'm not exactly sure why they are so popular here, but wafers are definitely a thing. You'll find them in every convenience store. I actually quite like this one, the coffee wafer. I think that one's pretty good. More wafers. <laughs> How could there be more wafers? Oh, there's coconut wafers. Every single type of wafer. Amazing. Oh, I don't know what this is. That looks like a bulk something. Hmm. They've also got a lot of French brands which kind of surprised me actually but I have been seeing a lot of French brands everywhere they've also got French butter from what I can remember yeah I think that's quite interesting and here is the chocolate spread section <laughs> if you really want to go big there is a 3.5 kilograms chocolate spread and they also have the classics Nutella which is 10 lev for the big one and then 400 grams is 682. The big one is 700 grams. They've also got all the different honey types. Um, lots of variety in honey. This one's very yellow. I'm not exactly sure why it'd be so extremely yellow, but I don't buy honey here. I buy honey locally from the tiny little village shop or from the market. So here are a couple more um, baklava looking things. They, yeah, they look a little dry to me, so it's not something I would buy here. But yeah, it's nice to know that they offer them. These also look a little dry, but you'd see these in all the convenience stores as well. I think they're rather popular. Yeah, so lots of cookies. This is the cookie aisle and it smells so good. Uh, makes me want some cookies. Oh, and candies. And then you've also got the classic Oreos. All the different varieties. 
You see a lot of Milka in Bulgaria. I think Milka has got a very big market share here, both in cookies and chocolate, from what I've seen so far. Okay, and that's it for the cookie aisle. This is another thing that seems to be a staple here. It's a long life croissants. They seem to have this also in every convenience store and even more variety in big stores like Janet. Just look how many they are, <laughs> keeps on going. This is the one I've seen most often. Yeah, it's really interesting. So it's long life croissants. Um, I have not tried one, so I won't be able to tell you if they are comparable to the croissants you get in France. Um, but just guessing, they're probably not. They're probably quite different. So this is one of my favorite breads that Fitness brought. It's German and I usually get this one when I get, come here because it's one of the only stores that I know that supplies it. It's four lever, so that's two euros for a bread like this, which I get most times when I come here. And they've also got two other variations, Meerkorn and Kürbiskern. Uh, those are a little bit more expensive. Uh, I don't know why. It kind of looks the same to me. It's the same weight anyway, same size. Um, obviously different ingredients, I guess. But anyway, it looks similar enough to me. I'm a bit tempted by these. I know, so unhealthy, but so tempting as well. They are 281 for eight pieces. And the pastries continue, or at least the sweetbreads. This looks like sweetbread. Um, another really cool thing I wanted to show you, I do love those. In German we call them pig's ears, probably in English as well, but I like this. I haven't tried them in Bulgaria yet, so I don't know. But these ones is what I wanted to show you. I really enjoy these. Um, they are different types, and I think this one is the best. I've tried this one and this one. This one I found a little bit dry, and this one was just delicious. The difference is basically this one has a whole bunch more butter in it. It's sort of like a sweet butter cream. And this one has caramel in it in between the twirls. So this one is twirled with butter cream and this one's twirled with caramel. But I think they put too little caramel. I don't know. I'm not sold on that one. This one, definitely. <laughs> so unhealthy, but so delicious. Uh, this one I haven't tried yet, but it looks like jam. Uh, it doesn't look as exciting as this, obviously. <laughs> so they have the bakery section here full of freshly baked bread and fresh croissants, which I have tried and they are delicious. I like those a lot, but I actually prefer these. Um, I think it's filo pastry is what you'd call it. And they have spinach and cheese in them. Um, and then here we have really great little, look at those. They have macarons here. So that is pretty nice. This is some sort of, I would say a quince jelly. Maybe that's a quince jelly. Maybe that's a quince jelly. This looks like a raspberry jelly. I'm not sure what those are. <laughs> oh, here's finally the baklava I was looking for. And there's more halva over there. And look at these. Don't they just look so luxurious? These are the same candies that I saw at the market. <laughs> And here we come to the cake. That looks like a creme brulee. These look like Cook Sisters. Um, they don't look crisp on the outside, but they are soaked in syrup for sure. Oh, and there's a bigger version. Okay, so if you want dough, deep fried dough soaked in syrup, Bulgaria can help you out. Donuts, cakes, oh my gosh. <gasps> Don't these just look amazing? Wow. I haven't tried any of them, but they do look pretty good. Sorry, the lighting isn't that great, but I think you can get a pretty good idea of how delicious they look. And then they've also got um, cakes ready to go. I think you're starting to get an idea how big Janet actually is and what variety they actually supply. It blows my mind every time. I think this might be a cheesecake over here. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Price-wise, the cheesecake is 
six and a half and they've got ready to go baklava and those are profiteroles look at that profiteroles ready to go i tried profiteroles from the smaller store in lubamets and they were really good so yeah lots of cakes this is the popcorn section all the different popcorns you could possibly ever want i think and then all the chips they've also got a diy section which is pretty cool but not a lot of uh, choice here it's really just the bare basics but it's nice you know you can just uh, get some things that you might need like i don't know tape is always useful some glue so it's good that they have these little things here it's basically just everything in one place isn't it gardening section even watering hose. Oh, and heaters. Yeah, really good. So I bought this heater, 2000. I got mine with a fan. So this one is slightly different. This one doesn't have a fan. Um, but this is the same price as what I paid, but I definitely wanted the fan because that'll heat the room a little bit more quickly wouldn't it so I'm glad I got that and then here are the smaller heaters if you want to price compare they are the prices so this is one of the things that I was really surprised by look at this we have a sushi section if you want to make sushi come to Janet get your sushi rice your nori your wasabi uh, soy sauce come on and I think this is the Korean section no it's still sushi rice There's sushi rice okay so this is what you mix in with the sushi rice yeah so I think you've even got mats somewhere here there's the mats so you can roll your sushi rolls <laughs> uh, here's a couple of mushrooms Oh, and these things are for summer rolls. Oh yeah, Vietnamese. Vietnamese summer rolls. Pretty good. And look, look at this. These are prawn crackers. So what you do with these is you just put them in really hot oil in a pan or pot and they'll become prawn crackers. Wow. For four love. And these are different type of noodles. We've got soba noodles. Udon noodles, I love udon noodles. Those are really big noodles that are just absolutely delicious, but they do come with a price tag. Hmm. Okay, I think this video might be get too long, so I'll just go through the aisles really briefly now. This is the cereal aisle, as you can see, lots of cereals. <laughs> Pasta aisle, so many different pastas. I guess what I'm just trying to get across is how much the store actually has going on so many choices this is the olive oil section and apple cider section uh, apple cider vinegar they just have so so many varieties and they do bulk items as well <laughs> uh, lots of olives and there's more olives over there just massive bulk purchase opportunities here so many spices and beans more beans and rice uh, more spices more rice more spices and this whole section back there it's all just alcohol okay and here is the salt so if you're interested in Himalayan salt they have about a hundred different types of Himalayan salt which is great. And then they've also got normal salt, which is also great. The salt continues. I think I'm going to stop the video here because you probably can get a very good idea what Janet is about. It's just a massive, massive store. Something like Carrefour that you might um, be familiar with. Maybe Asda in the UK, something like that. Uh, just so 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 many things so many brands 
and there are a couple of specific Bulgarian things, um, but I think um, Janet is known for being more on the international side. Okay, and actually here is the last aisle, so maybe I'll just video the last aisle as well. This is the pet aisle, so here's the dog food, and here's some more animal foods. And like I said, this is the alcohol section. There's more and there's more. <laughs> and this is pretty cool actually. You get to pour your own wine. I think it's wine. White Pelin, Rosé, white wine, red wine, and red Pelin. I'm not sure what Pelin is, but clearly it's different to red wine. <laughs> and there's the prices up there. In Vino Veritas. Great, so I hope you've enjoyed the video all about Janet and what Janet offers. I actually do know that there is another section over here, so maybe I should just pop over there and give you a really, really quick look. Because, of course, Janet continues. Here we go, we've got hardcore alcohol right next to the baby section. <laughs> It's hilarious. Uh, this is some, um, yeah, and there's the baby children's section. They've also got a play area, but I've never seen that area used. And here's some more toys, baby section, and stationeries. Uh, oh, and toys. There's board games, uh, toy section, and more toys more toys and shoes of course oh and luggage in case you needed a suitcase janet has that as well so luggage shoes some beanies um and appliances here we've got some water filters deep fryers air fryers waffle makers toasters some grills <laughs> microwaves oh wow oh and water dispensers electrical bits extension cords uh coffee makers coffee machine all right I've got this one. It's been going for years and years. I've had it for uh, more than four years, maybe five years, a long while. And this was also a nice discovery the other day. I actually found out that Janet does incense. So that's always nice to know. They've got, got a good candle selection as well. And then into detergents. All right. Okay, so that's it now, I'm done. I've showed you the whole entire Janet, I believe at least 90% of it. <laughs> if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask me. Um, I love this place. Whenever I feel like I need anything that's slightly out of the ordinary, then I'll come here. And they also have fantastic watermelon offers. So these watermelons are really cheap. It's out of season and um, it's 40 cents per kilogram. So great deal decided to get the last few watermelons. Yeah, couldn't resist.